Okay, so story time. I've talked in the past about me going out in the wild, you know, different stores and places where there's touch screens, and being able to touch the corners or the edge of the screen and bring up hidden menus. Well, there's another thing that I've seen a few times out in the wild, out just on these machines that everyone has access to, and it happened to me today. I took my daughter to Chuck E. Cheese, and I have some video of this, and the video is very poor because I'm, I'm filming it with my cell phone. I'm trying to hold the phone with one hand, keep an eye on my daughter while doing stuff on the screen, and half the time I'm doing stuff on the screen. I realized that I'm not pointing the camera at what I'm doing. I'm trying not to look too suspicious, which is funny because lots of times you do stuff like this on uh, machines and no one really seems to care. But once you start pointing your camera at the screen, employees tend to start being like, what's going on? Uh, anyway, so what happened was I wasn't even looking for anything. I went to cash in some tokens I had because they've now gone to a card, uh, uh, NFC card set up at Chuck E. Cheese, so you have to cash in all your tokens and get points on a card. Uh, so I walk up to this machine to put my tokens in that we had from a previous visit. As soon as I touch the first uh, button on the screen, I see on the left hand side of the screen a little curved grayish box. And I've seen it before, so I reach over with my finger and I swipe from the left to the right and I pull out the Windows Microsoft keyboard, uh, on-screen keyboard. And at that point, uh, I hit the Windows key and E, and it opened up Windows Explorer. Now, of course, as soon as I pulled out the camera to go show this, um, every time I did, the window popped up, but then the main Chuck E. Cheese menu would pop back up over it. And I kept opening up, I tried different programs, I was opening up all these different programs, the, the start menu, and every time the Chuck E. Cheese menu would pop up over it. And it but, I had it working before I started reading. So at the end of this video, you'll see that I, um, what I figured out was if I went to a sub-menu on the main menu, uh, it didn't seem to refresh as fast, so I was able to open up uh, Windows Explorer, and I didn't do anything. I just clicked on a few folders, and then I, I walked away and left it like that. Uh, what's scary was I, I played with the keyboard when I first got there, then I went and, you know, was there for half an hour, 45 minutes, and when I went to leave, the keyboard was still on the screen. Um, no one seemed to notice or care. But what's really scary is that this uh, this machine does money transactions. It, it takes cash and it takes tokens and it takes credit cards. Uh, and really there's no reason for the Windows desktop to be running in the background. And I'm not just saying Windows. I mean, it is overkill to have Windows on there. You're paying licensing fees for an operating system that you're basically not using because the only application running on there is the application that the Chuck E. Cheese people uh, wrote and it should have that, that should be all you need, so it shouldn't matter what operating system running and they're paying licensing fees. But beyond that, whether you're running whatever operating system, Linux or, or Windows on something like this, you, you'll never really see Apple around unless it's an iPad. Um, but there's absolutely no reason for you to have a full desktop running. On, on Linux, Xorg is enough. You can start up Xorg without a desktop environment. You may want a Windows manager for the applications you're running, but no, no need to have a desktop running, you know, toolbars and, and menus and stuff like that. And on a Windows machine, I don't know about current versions of Windows because I haven't been a Windows user for over a decade, uh, but when I was back in the day with XP and before, you can go into the RegEdit and you can find the section where it loads Explorer, which is your desktop environment, and you can change that in the, in the registry to any executable. So you can basically make your program in whatever language you wrote be the desktop environment and you don't need that desktop. But I've seen the Windows desktop running on so many things and not only is it just pointless, it's a security flaw. There's no reason for that to be running. There's no reason for anyone to have an on-screen keyboard and the menus and be able to access all that stuff. Even from a uh, a technician point of view, to access that stuff, you should have to open up that machine, uh, especially when there's money transactions going. So be careful when you're out there. Um, keep an eye out for this stuff, and just be aware when you're putting your credit card in machines, what could be going on. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Sorry again for the horrible, uh, shaky video from my cell phone. Uh, I hope that you have a great day.